Akash lives in Jabalpur and he wants to go to Sasar Bazar, but he does not know which way to go. So what will he do? Very simple. He can use Google Maps. In this application, you choose your current location and enter the desired destination. After doing so, you get the desired route and the corresponding time that will be consumed in going there within a few seconds. Now, this Google Maps are indeed very helpful all thanks to technology nowadays we do not have to worry while traveling to any unknown places now google maps are digital version of maps can you tell me what are maps well a map is a drawing or a diagrammatic representation of a part of the earth's surface or whole of it on a flat surface say a paper now here we have two maps. The first one shows the entire world. While the second one shows only a part of the earth's surface that is the continent of Africa. So you see maps can represent the entire world or a part of it. Now maps are very helpful and they provide a lot of information about a place. For example, maps illustrate physical features of an area like mountains, hills, valleys, rivers, etc. Also, there are some maps that show political divisions of a place like cities, countries, national boundaries, states, etc. Now, do you know what are these maps called? Well, the maps that show physical features or geographical features of a place, for example, mountains, hills, rivers, valleys, etc. are known as physical maps. So, physical maps shows physical features of a place. While there are some other maps like this one which shows political divisions of a place like countries, states, cities and even national boundaries. These maps are called political maps. So as mentioned just now, physical map like this one shows physical features of a place whereas political maps define the political divisions of an area like this one. Now there are some special maps that are drawn for some specific purpose. Say for example, you are an industrialist and you want to know the distribution of minerals in India. So for that purpose, you would definitely go through the minerals map of India. Similarly, if a geographer wants to understand the rainfall pattern and temperature conditions of each state of India, then for him the climate map of India will be helpful. So here we see that both these maps focus on specific information about a region. Do you know what are they called? Well, the maps that focus on specific information about a region like climate, natural vegetation, minerals, agriculture, etc. are called thematic maps. So thematic maps are drawn for a purpose and they define specific information about a place. Now here the first map shows the distribution of minerals in India while in the second case each shade represent a particular climatic zone of India. So this is the minerals map of India and the second one is the climate map of India. Now both these maps are thematic maps because they provide specific information about a country called India. Thus we find that maps are of various types. The maps that define physical features of a place are called physical maps. Whereas the maps that show political divisions of a region are called political maps. Also there are some special maps that provide particular information about a place for instance climate, vegetation, minerals distribution etc. And these maps are called thematic maps. So these are the broad classification of maps. Now you can get all these maps in a book. Do you know what it is called? Now before we proceed with our lesson, let us see if we can solve this. You will have to choose the correct sentence among all these. The first sentence states, physical maps depict countries 
with their national boundaries. The second option says political maps show natural features like hills, plains, rivers, etc. The third sentence is physical maps show natural features like hills, plains, rivers, etc. And the fourth one says political maps focus on specific information like population. So which of these statements do you think is the correct one? Well, the correct statement is this one which says physical maps show natural features like hills, plains, rivers, etc. While the rest of the options are incorrect because the first one says physical maps depict countries with their national boundaries. So this option is incorrect. Again, the second one says political maps show natural features like hills, plains, rivers, etc. This statement is also incorrect because political maps define political divisions of a place. Also, the fourth statement is incorrect because it says political maps focus on specific information. Well, we know that the maps that focus on specific information are called thematic maps and not political maps. So, the correct option is third one which states physical maps show natural features of a place. So, this statement is correct one. Well, a book that contains various types of maps is called an atlas. An atlas is a collection of different types of maps as we can see here. Here we can see that different types of maps like political maps, physical maps, thematic maps etc. have been compiled together in the form of a book which is known as an atlas. Thus, maps are indeed very helpful. It provides us lot of information about a place. For example, it defines the physical features and geographical features of a place. And also, it helps us to know about political divisions of a place like countries, cities, states, etc. Apart from providing information, maps also help us in finding directions and route to different places. For instance, Google Maps. Thus, maps are very helpful. Suppose one of your friend asked you to show the way from your school to home, that is Villa 4B. Now, what will you do? You would probably draw a rough diagram of your locality and show the way from your school to home. This is to say that you will quickly draw this diagram and ask him to take this route from your school to home or you can also ask him to take this way. So, your friend can take either of these two routes and reach from school to home. Now, this diagram provides a lot of information about this locality. This is to say that it shows where is the school located, where do we have industrial estate, the apartments, railway station, police station, etc. Now, can we call this a map? Well, we cannot call this diagram a map because it is a very rough drawing or a basic drawing of an area. It only means that this is a freehand drawing and it is not drawn to scale. So, we cannot call this diagram a map. Rather, it is called a sketch. So, what is a sketch? A sketch is a rough drawing of an area which resembles a map. Well, the difference between map and the scale is that maps are always drawn to scale but sketch maps are never drawn to scale. They are rough drawing of an area. Now, here we have a drawing of a water park called Aquatica. This drawing provides a lot of information about this small area that is by looking at it we can learn where is the cafeteria situated, where do we have amusement rights, where is the parking zone etc. Thus this drawing provides a lot of information about this place. So can we call it a map? No, we cannot call this drawing a map. Rather, it is called a plan. So, what is a plan? A plan is a detailed drawing of a small area. Now, unlike map, plans may or may not be drawn to scale. 
Also, plants are quite similar to large scale maps. That is, they provide a lot of information about a very small area. Plants are just pictorial representation of a small area, say a park, housing complex, etc. So, in today's lesson, we first understood the meaning of maps. A map is a diagrammatic representation of a part of the earth's surface or whole of it on a flat surface, say a piece of paper. Then we also discussed about various types of maps like physical maps, political maps and thematic maps. Physical maps defines the physical features or natural features of a place, whereas political maps define the political divisions of a place and thematic maps focuses on specific information. Then we also discussed about sketch and plan. Well, sketch maps and plans are quite similar to maps but they cannot be called maps because they may or may not be drawn to scale. Sketch maps are very rough drawing of an area while plans provide a lot of information about a small area on a very large scale. So this brings us to the end of today's discussion on maps, plans and sketch maps. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.